Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to Small Land, where today I'm going to show you all of the resources that you're going to need to progress yourself as fast as possible, where to find them and where my favorite places are to gather them in a timely fashion. I hope this is going to be a short video. So we're going to go ahead and start off with, uh, with sprouts, which are going to give you fiber. We're going to go ahead and this is going to be your twigs, which will give you wood. We got uh, resin right here, which is on the trees and mushrooms are going to be just down the hill. And those it's going to be your beginning food. And then down by the creek is where you're going to find the stones, and I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to gather up some of this, uh, these mushrooms. By the way, I do have the best armor, weapons, and tools in the game right now, so I'm going to be gathering a lot quicker than you will be, but that's okay. You'll get there in time. Okay, so that was fiber, wood, resin, and mushrooms, and then we down here we have stone down by creek beds is where you're going to find them most of the time, although some creek beds won't have any, so be aware that your stone, if it looks like this, you should be able to gather it. They all look pretty much the same. You're not gonna be able to gather uh, from large rocks, but the small ones you can. The next two items on my list are gonna be screws and bottle caps. Okay, so screws are gonna be down here at this creek, beginning creek as well. You're gonna see, you find a couple of these screws here and bottle caps, but you can also find uh, screws and bottle caps in locations where there were humans. So just to give you an example of where to find other screws, if you can't find them, this is a ant hill right here. We go inside of here and just inside of this tunnel right here, we're going to find a the rem remnants of a piece of metal. I don't know what this is, but right here you have a screw in here. There should be a couple. There's another screw right here and there's another screw right here so be aware whenever you find uh, something from the from the big people the giants make sure that you uh you take a quick look because you might be able to find something that you might be able to use bottle caps are also scattered around the world those blue bottle caps they all look the same at least they are due here in early access so be aware that you keep your eyes open for the bottle caps you're going to need those for a couple of things especially like your very first uh stonemason table or rather stone cutter table, it, this is, it, as you can see it, it takes 10 stone, one bottle cap, one screw, and 10 wood. So you're going to need a bottle cap and a screw for your stone cutter table. But you can also use bottle caps and screws later on to melt down in your furnace to make pieces of metal that you can turn into ingots. So keep those bottle caps and keep those screws. And there's a, here's right here is a, um, is a camera. So you may or may not find screws that you're looking for, but like right here, there's a hinge. There's a screw right there. So keep your eyes open for giant, uh, giant artifacts that you, uh, you might be able to use the materials in the future. Also, the mushrooms, are the poisonous mushrooms, are right here. They look like Amanita mascara. Uh, you're going to need a wood hatchet at least, so let's go ahead and break out my flint hatchet. These can be boiled down. Uh, you can make boiled mushrooms for food. You also need this for your anti-venom uh, recipe in the apothecary station so that when you get by, bit by spiders uh, you can go ahead and cure yourself when that happens so go ahead and gather all the regular all the mushrooms in the game keep them because you're going to need them for later use all right next on my list is going to be seeds petals and nectar now you can get seeds from multiple plants you can get uh you can get it from rye you can get it from cattails you can get them from poppies as well so poppies will give you nectar seeds and uh petals Okay, so the three places to get seeds are going to be poppies, rye, and cattails. My next three items are going to be strawberries, blackberries, and honey crumble. Okay, if you go to where you where you see uh, where there were bees, like there's a beehive up there, or maybe yeah, there's a beehive right there. They're gonna the bees are going to drop uh, honey crumble, or it's going to be spawn where the bees are. The honey crumble is uh, going to be used for some of the best food in the game, early game anyway. Blackberries and honey crumble are probably the simplest food that you can make. You're going to make blackberry jam with that. Blackberries are actually on the ground laying around. So we'll go ahead and I'll find a blackberry patch and I'll show you what that looks like. Honey crumbles everywhere that there are bees and it respawns fairly quickly. All the resources in this game spawn really quickly. So be aware. Strawberries are on their individual plants like this one. They're going to look like that. And you're just going to get one strawberry per plant, but they come in clusters, so they should be fairly easy to harvest. Blackberries in the world just happen to be on the ground at the moment. They don't have blackberry patches right now, so just go ahead and uh, you'll look around. You're, they should be in multiple, um, multiple batches around the world in general. I mean, my favorite place is going to be right around in this area right here on the map. It's just north of where you're going to be starting. So, you know, I would look there at least to start in the beginning. 
Whoop, at least to start in the beginning because blackberries and honey crumble make blackberry jam. It's a fairly good food that you can make in your cauldron once you get your cauldron working. I subsist on blackberry jam almost exclusively in this game right now, so I highly recommend it. All right, leaves and garlic leaves. These are two different plants. Uh, it's going to be sorrel and hedge garlic, respectively. My favorite tree to gather these from is going to be right here and then down by the beach, which is where you're going to find some sorrel. Sorrel has been added to the game all over the place, down here in the ruins. Um, it's going to be uh, hedge garlic has also been planted around the world. It wasn't only in one spot that I could find before, but now it's all over. I'll show you what, it, what to look for, though, because but this is my favorite place, place to gather hedge garlic and uh, the sorrel because it's it's all together right here. Really, really uh, close. So I'm not even going to take my we're just going to glide down here. Your garlic is your hedge garlic is going to be right here. It, you can see it, but it's got white flowers right here. This is what hedge garlic looks like. Uh, I know it's raining right, or it's dark right now because it's raining, so uh, it's about to rain. Hedge garlic looks like this. And you're going to gather your garlic leaf. You're going to get three at a pop. This is going to be for your uh, food. I use hedge garlic for my uh, food that keeps me warm. They're a food that will keep you warm during the winter. Gather a bunch of hedge garlic right out of the gate because you're going to need to uh, have that during the winter, although it'll be winter. It takes a little bit of time for winter to show up because you go through spring, summer and then fall as you begin in your game so uh so yeah the hedge garlic looks like that there's plenty of it right here and then when you go down to the beach down here you're going to find sorrel as well but sorrel let me show you what it looks like you might find it anywhere on the map at this point because they're putting they're adding uh, different plant or different plants to different places on the on the map to make it easier on us but this is one of my favorite spots to be because it's right across from the ruins and there's also flint down here that i'll show you in just a second all right, so this is what sorrel looks like, guys. It's green with red veins on it, or reddish veins on it. I know you can't quite see this in, in light right now, but this is what it looks like. And then you just go ahead and just harvest it up. You're gonna want this for some recipes. So you're gonna get leaves and fiber from your sorrel. And that, as they say, is that. All right, guys, so the next three items on my list are gonna be flint, bark, and silk. One of my favorite places to gather flint and bark is gonna be right down here where I showed you where the sorrel was and where the hedge garlic is. This is my favorite tree to gather down here right across from the ruins on this beach. So we're gonna drop down to the beach. I'm gonna show you, uh, actually in the sunlight, I can show you where the sorrel is again so you can know a little bit better what to look for because it's sunny right now. All right, so this is what flint looks like, guys. You're gonna need at least a, 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 manda, a mandible pickaxe to harvest it. Whoop. And you should get around two to three uh, flint at a time. Um, be careful because there are uh, water bugs. There is There are geckos down here. There are wasps down here. They will start to head down. But if you'll notice right quick, this is a side note. Um, these wasps, they, if, you can get, if you can get an animal to aggro on another animal, sometimes they will kill that animal and you can gather the resources for free. So we're going to watch out for these wasps because they will move around a little bit. And, they, and if, they, if they see a water bug, they'll kill it. If they see a gecko, they will try to kill it. Sometimes you'll get lucky and, and, one, and the, one of the wasps will die. Be aware, you're going to have to fight the whole, uh, the whole horde that's going to be clumped together. If you fight one of them, you're going to have to fight all of them. So make sure you're ready for that. Okay, so also this is where you're going to find or where I'm going to find um, uh, bark. One of the places to find bark. There's many places to find bark. Usually it's going to be down here on the beach or just on the ground for the most part. And you're going to get between you're going to get wood and you're going to get bark. Usually only about two bark. You don't you normally see much more than that. This is on the east side of the map and that's so that's flint and bark on the east side of the map and I'll show you where to find flint and bark on the west side of the map right now because we have to go to the west side to find silk. Now, you, you are other places to find silk, but they're in small patches. There we go. Here we go. This is that water bug I was talking about. They attacked him because they got too close. Now, I'm not going to touch these guys. I'm just going to move in on their territory, and I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to go whoop. Now, I, not, I do have a peaceful mode activated, so so long as I don't attack them, they won't attack me. And this is what the sorrel looks like in the light. These are the red veins I was talking about, green plant, red veins. So there you go, getting back to what we just said. Now, before you go looking for silk, you're going to need to go into your stonecutter station. You're going to have to make 
some flint shears because that's a specialty tool that you're going to need to gather silk. So it's going to take five fiber, five resin, eight flint, and five refined wood. So be aware you're going to have to make flint shears before you head over to the swamp to get your, your silk. All right, for silk, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop down into the swamp. I'm going to show you on the map where it's at. We're right here. We're headed toward Lysandra. She's the swamp um, armorer. And once again, I'm on peaceful mode, so these spiders won't attack me. But this is where you want to find your silk, is in these spider cocoons right here. This is what they look like. So you'll want to go ahead, and you're, that's why I said you're going to need your shears. Just equip your shears, and then you just hit them like this. Careful when you're walking around here getting these spider cocoons, because there you go. You're going to get silk, and you get some eggs. Careful, because the spiders will come down, and they will run up to you. And, they're in, and if you're swinging and you hit them, they will attack you on peaceful mode because that's how peaceful mode works. Also down in the swamp here, you're gonna, you are gonna find a lot of bark as well. So there's another location for bark. Um, these are two, my two locations, favorite locations for bark are gonna be in the swamp on the west side and then the, uh, the beach on the east side that we just showed you. And that's gonna get, bring me back to another location to find some flint, which is gonna lead me into metal. And then we're gonna go metal and clay. All right, so one of my other favorite places to gather a flint is going to be right here. It's going to, on the map. It's going to be right here uh, in the uh, in the northwestern corner of the map. There's a bunch of there's not a bunch of flint here, but there is some flint here. It's not like it is down on that beach that I showed you, but there is some flint here. You can go ahead and gather it right here. Let me go ahead and get my pick back out. And all the nodes are going to be the same. It's going to be between two and three flint at a time. So that's going to be the flint, the bark and the silk locations. Now, mind you, this is not all the locations that are available in the game, and this is early access, so things might change as they go down the road, but uh, for right now, this is, uh, this is how it is. Okay, as far as metal and clay goes, metal's gonna be here in the northwestern uh, part of the map, and clay's gonna be down here in the southeastern part of the map right in here. So your metal's gonna be right here. This is what it's gonna look like. You gotta watch out for these cockroaches. If you hit them, they'll attack you. They're really hefty creatures, so be aware and be careful. Now I have the best pick in the game. It's gonna probably take you six or seven hits uh, for a lesser pick, but, oh, and by the way, it does say you're gonna need at least a flint pickaxe or better to harvest this, so be aware. I'm gonna hit this guy by mistake. I just know it. There we go. And you're gonna get about between four, three to five iron shards every every uh, node and there are a ton of nodes around here so you're just going to go ahead and have to look around and uh, they all look the same so that's what they look like right there so yeah there you go there's where you're going to find your metal there are a ton of cockroaches around here as well as some orange wasps which were a, a bit bigger so be aware that uh, these are dangerous enemies they can kill you very quickly if you don't have some good armor you're probably going to die if you hit them and if you of course if you don't have peaceful mode on you're definitely going to be attacked all right, guys. So for your clay, where you're gonna need is you're gonna be you're gonna need to be across this this water area right here into these ruins right here. So the ruins are right there, and we're gonna go ahead and you can actually build right across this uh, this this waterway. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna drop down and I'm gonna show you. Careful, I don't hit a branch on the way down, or I will hurt myself. All right, so. This beach is where I showed you where to get the flint and to get the uh, sorrel and then the hedge garlic's right over there. So, but you can build right across this area right here. It's shallow water. There are some dragonflies here, so be aware if you're not on peaceful mode. You can build uh, some foundations right through here and get across here. And this is where you're going to find your clay. Now, you're going to need at least a spike pickaxe to get it, but that's okay because you don't need a furnace. You don't need a forge to do that. All you need is some metal shards and some um, refined wood and a couple of other items. It's really easy to make. Okay, so right up these steps right here are a bunch of clay nodes. So pretty much the lower ones are easy to get. So for the, for the best pickaxe in the game, which is the iron pickaxe, it only takes two hits to grab clay. But some of this stuff might be, uh, might be hard to hit like this. What you're gonna have to do is you just, all you gotta do is just jump and hit, jump and hit. And then you can go ahead and left, or F, hit F to, or hold down F to collect it. That's how you're going to be harvesting your clay. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out that I got to jump to be able to get those high ones. I was like, why did they put those out of reach? But they didn't really because you can jump. Okay, guys, so clay is all through these ruins. It is all through here. So it's very, very um, abundant. Don't be afraid to run around and explore and, and to get everything that you need. 
uh, up in here because you're gonna have there's plenty of clay in here. So don't worry about that. And I believe this is only the only spot in the game where it has clay, but I could be wrong. And they might add uh, clay to different spots in the game as the game progresses because this is early access. Today's the first day where it goes up for sale. Uh, there are plenty of other resources around here. Be aware, like the saplings right here. I don't think I covered saplings, but let's go ahead and chop one down so you can see what you get. You should get fiber, you should get wood, and you should get sap out of this, or resin, rather. Yeah, wood, resin, and fiber off of saplings. So that's, a, that's another uh, resource that you can, you can add to the list. And I think that's going to do it for part one of my resource video, which is going to be the ground and plant resources that you have available to you in the game. The part two is going to cover all of the animals that are available in early access. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to dispatch all of these animals. There's 28 animals in the game. It's too much for one video. So I'm, but that's where you're going to find your chitin and your heavy chitin and your claws and your stingers and your insect fur and things like that. Also, your fat and your eggs and your and your other items. So we'll be I'll be going and I'll be dispatching on one or two creatures of each type in the next video. Uh, you know, like from the dragonflies, you're going to get wings, things like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what all you can get from these animals in the next video. So anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed or if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. And as I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully you're having fun. I am. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.